these observations. start you off with your show me question when it's safe would you show me how you beat the horn thank you very much and good luck sir i'm gonna do this route with following the signs normally we have our sat nav giving us direction not today and 20 percent of tests will be following the signs Anyone that's going to be doing the driving test to practice following the signs, I think it's more difficult. What do you think? Would you prefer sat nav or following the signs? Sat nav. Sat nav, yeah. So, full night dance. Nice defensive driving from yourself. Sam was a good driver.
we're going to start our independent drive, please. I'd like you to follow the signs the best you can towards Stanmore. If you're not too sure, just ask. So the signs will be a little bit far in between if you just continue to follow the signs of Stanmore. And this next one's a bit tricky, Harrow. Thank you. Um, there'll be two more signs. Both of them will say Headstone Lane. 
wouldn't mind following the signs to Headstone Lane. Thank you. the end of the independent driving and I will give you the directions from now on. Just follow the road ahead. be able to tell us how would we check to see the power steering's working um when stationary the wheel should be able to freely move and not be stuck yes very nice thank you Further ahead, we're going to have a set of traffic lights. I don't know if we can see them yet, so we're still quite far ahead. And the traffic lights is actually a crossroads, it's not a perfect cross, so sometimes people do get a little bit disorientated. And uh, the traffic lights turn right. I'll remind us when we get closer.
finish this one a little bit different with our manoeuvre in the car park. So we're going to go to one of the car parks that examiners might use at the roundabout. Turn right. Car park could be at the next roundabout. There'll be a sign there that says Superstore. I'm going to get closer with your direction. You know the car park, right? Supermarket car park. Never heard Superstore in this country before. Superstore. I mean, I get it. I know what it means, but usually it's supermarket, right? Yeah. So just over the hill, past the traffic light, there'll be a roundabout. At the roundabout, turn right, third exit. Very good signals on your roundabouts, well done. And we're following through to the right, so no need to signal here, just following the road. The road markings are very, very faint, including the zebra crossings. And all the way to the end, if it's safe, we'll turn right at the end. pedestrians going onto the opposite side of the road. As long as it's clear, it's absolutely fine. Car parks are like that. Okay, so the examples would ask us to go towards the back of the car park. That's where we're heading. There appears to be another load of vehicle there. Right, what I'd like you to do is, if it's safe, drive forwards into any bay. Good signal, very helpful for all these people.
I think what you're doing is good because that vehicle is reversing towards us. Mm. So what you're doing is a safe decision. We seem to be having a little bit of trouble as well to see. Can you see the squinting quite mm -hmm. a lot? There's the sunlight in their eyes. Let's see. So she's reversing into the car there, I'm not too sure if she's seen that. Well, let's check your friend. Sure, yeah. Go inside, yeah. Cool beans. All right, give me one extra. Just push the power button. Okay. Um, you know, there is a tradition around here, but I'm going to cut tradition on this case. Uh, congratulations, you have passed. Mm -hmm. There's just two areas. I just want to run a little, maybe Q&A, or just run it past you. Uh, one was... Um, the roundabout there at the end, a little bit of confusion between going left and right. Mm. And the other one was the junction just before that roundabout, which was the crossroads where we turned right. Mm. So um, let's start with the roundabout maybe. So my understanding might be that we were just confused between if we're going left or right. I, when, felt, I felt like I had to go back into the left lane to turn right, but then I was in two minds about it because it wouldn't have made sense. But then I just kind of stuck to the lane. And then the the crossroads, I remembered we did it like some time, some time ago. And then because I was going a bit, I didn't go, I wasn't too fast, but I was going and another car was coming. So I remember we have to give um, priority to the oncoming vehicles if we're turning right. And that van, I thought he was coming at speed, but he slowed down. So then that's when I saw the opportunity to just go. But the car before it was already on its way. So I just let that car go. Then I thought the van was going to do the same thing. But when it didn't, I said, I'll, I'll just take the opportunity. Okay. Yeah. I like you taking the opportunities like that. And I noticed that you actually accelerated more mm. so that you wouldn't have slowed that vehicle down, mm. the van. Yeah. Um, the one of the roundabout was the undue hesitation. So okay. we kind of stopped there. It's a little bit open. That means it's a bit easy to see. And just kind of thought about it a little bit. That's why I thought maybe it was just because we're confused between going left or right. Was so. it was it early early in the test? No, it was just there at the end. Oh, yeah, okay. so not this roundabout that mm -hmm. took us into the supermarket, um, but the one before it. Mm. Yeah, just a little bit undue hesitation there. Uh, both miners. Um, I thought maybe we could do a little bit more work on the mirror checks as we're going around parked cars a little bit. Mm. Just a little bit more on the right side, maybe the left side as we come back to the left towards the end. But overall, very, very good drive. Any questions? Um, you see the first junction, the first junction, like when we were coming out, when we were starting the test, sorry, would I have been allowed to drive into the middle of the week? Windows? No. Wouldn't have been able to drive, okay. No. Um, the road is, you know we said open, the last roundabout, mm -hmm. the second to last roundabout. Open means really easy to see. Closed means it's very difficult to see. That mm. junction's closed. Mm. If we go out halfway and someone comes around the bend at speed, there's not a very good place to be. I don't know what I want to say, but no, don't do it in too okay. fast because we can't see. Mm -hmm. If we could see for miles all day long, go halfway. Mm -hmm. Just take care of the traffic, obviously, because mm -hmm. they still have priority. But yes, um, but in that situation where we can't see, no, just mm -hmm. wait until it's completely clear. And that's exactly what you did. That was the first opportunity that you got to go. Mm. And then you, you did it. It took a while to get that opportunity, but you know, you did the right thing. Mm. Yeah, just want to clarify that, okay. okay? Anything else that might be on your mind before we kind of sign off for now?
I think I think I'll be fine, yeah. I think it was a cool drive. Yeah. Overall, yeah. Well done on passing.